So the question is, was I nervous? Yes, I was very, very nervous. Did I pass? I pass. Am I now a US citizen? Yes, I am now a US citizen. So for you to see how I did it, what I've done and the experience, the challenges, you have to watch this video to the end. And welcome to my channel. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, I would like to say a big welcome to the family. And if you're the family, thanks for your love and support. Please do not forget to subscribe button. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Do not forget the bell. And do not forget to turn on the post notification so you can get notified whenever I upload a video. As everyone can see in the title, I know you are here to hear about becoming a US citizen, the expectations, the challenges, and I am here to give you what my experience was like. So let's get into the video like i said the first thing was you have to be five years in the country before you can be able to apply for it and during your five years you have to make sure you have good record like no killing no robbery all that kind of stuff you know what good record is i don't have to tell you that but you have to make sure your record is very very nice and you have to wrap yourself nicely i am nigerian i'm an Im immigrant so that's what it is i bless god my record was really good going back to high school going to college my record was good for that five years so that really made the process easier but if you have all those bad records god forbid it's gonna affect your process it's gonna affect the citizenship process to process right and to process easily so we bless god i did not have all those bad records and all that kind of stuff so i applied for citizenship and it was during the pandemic that i applied so i said maybe i applied uh, in september and i got an interview date in february so for me and because of covid because of everything that was going on they told me i did not have to come i think it's called biometrics so it's like more of like fingerprints and other kind of stuff and just making sure you have with like it's just for them as evidence to know maybe your information is anywhere or bad records or kind of stuff so but for me it was waived because i've done it before when i renewed my pass i renewed my immigrant card my green card when i renewed it after three years i renewed my green card to the five years to the 10 years one yes so i renewed it to the 10 years and so during that renew her i was able to have my biometrics done and so because covid was going on they told me i did not have to come back to have biometrics so they waived it so i heard some people have to go back to go do biometrics but i was lucky i did not have to go back so the next thing after applying the process date and they scheduled my interview dates so that's it so i like i said i applied in september and i they scheduled my interview date to february so the interview process let us go to that part first of all when you create an account on online they will give you information on how to create an account you have to keep track of that account like do not just think they will keep updating you and other kind of stuff you have to be vigilant yourself and just keep track of that account and just go there check the process check how it's processing and all that kind of stuff so it's more like you're looking forward to your grade in school and other kind of stuff and you're just going to go to your odu portal uh, what am i saying odu like your school portal or your school grading book to keep seeing if your professor has graded your thing so that's what it's like so you have to go on that website and just keep track of the processing yourself so to, to be honest though i was expecting email of the interview but they've already updated my interview date on that online process thing like online they already processed it they already put it up there and because the the, the letters does not come till later so for you to if you want to hear like faster reply if you want to hear um if your if your if your application is processing fast if you really want if you're really worried and you really want everything easily and quickly just keep track of the online process that's what i'm gonna say so yeah i kept track i was able to see my interview dates before even getting the letter so that like what i said just keep track so i saw that i was nervous so during the interview before the interview because they gave me 120 questions. Yeah, this is where you have to apply your intelligence, your time, and your everything. They are going to give you 120 questions. And guess what? They, you have to know all those 120 questions because you do not know what is going to come out. And out of those 120 questions, 
you only you're only gonna be asked 10 questions and you are allowed to get six right so during my time I was studying shout out to my friends boyfriends every close one of the genuine ones in my life that was there for me reading with me studying with me praying for me supporting me making sure I passed because I was nervous reading 120 question and I'm not gonna lie it was during pandemic like student hasn't been in school so I was like yo my brain has been relaxing like how am I gonna memorize all these things like we've not been going to school for a while and that kind of stuff but yeah I really had to get myself together and people I have like good support system around me my family my brothers everyone was there for me too so I had to memorize all those questions once with imagine how crazy that is so that's not a joke i'm not even gonna lie to you and those questions are like who is the president of america what war did this happen i can't really remember those questions but i can pull it up and make you guys see what it kind of looks like because i have everything in my record and all that kind of stuff so i really had to really study those questions because you do not know which one is going to come out but those were those questions are more like america history so just get prepared for that so yeah interview is here february is here i went for my interview i was shaking i wasn't gonna poop my body was shaking i was gonna go to one store in front of me i was gonna go there and go poop i was like yo your time is gone they'll tell you to arrive 15 minutes early it's not that kind of far to my house so they told me to arrive 15 minutes where your girl has been there like an hour 30 minutes <laughs> early i was just sitting there because i was too anxious i'm not gonna lie to you guys but i don't know some people might not be like me you guys are probably stronger than me so but me i'm always nervous at everything but i know i have god but you know it's sometimes some females things to be anxious and nervous and other kind of stuff so I was really nervous i was there like an hour 30 minutes early i was going through the paper i was reading and all that i was then it's time it's a process when you when i was downstairs the immigration office um they i don't think you can bring anything in and all that kind of stuff but i think you can bring the paper in but i was too scared to bring anything in anyway so i only held the paper in me so i can keep reviewing and all that they're gonna check your body you don't have to have any weapons with you you already know that that's american rules so yeah and all that then they checked us in and all that kind of stuff then have to check in us in i think turns i'm not gonna lie if they tell you right really i right really because there are many people there you're still gonna see that some might be quicker but mine wasn't really quick at all because there was many people there with me and when it got to my turn it keeps making me more nervous because there were many people there but so yeah when it was my town the lady was so street i don't know women are hollering streets to me to be honest i'm not gonna lie even professor women i feel like they're too hot maybe because i'm a nice person i'm too easy but yo her face was up like she wasn't joking i was even trying to be nice say, hey <laughs> she wasn't looking at me <laughs> she was just into the business then she sat me down uh out of 10 questions she was gonna have me 10 questions when she got to six i packed then she stopped because you only need to get six no i think she asked me six, seven questions i missed one so those questions are like who was the american <laughs> who was the american president it was trump i was like it was trump and other kind of stuff and she was like whoa whoa worst kind of thing once i <laughs> this lady was speaking english i was like i'm sorry i don't understand you <laughs> because i was so nervous i did not know what she was saying then after that so she asked me seven questions excuse me I'll be back. Sorry, guys, I had to clean my nose. But yeah, um, I was really nervous, like I said. So after asking, she asked me seven questions, but she already knew I'm allowed to get six right. So after getting six right, there's no need of her going ahead. So she asked, she said, uh, when she she stopped at the seven, so when I got one wrong, then she kept going. Then when she saw that I already passed six, then she just moved forward. To be honest, I cannot really remember all those questions, but if you read those books, you would. I can put the link down below for you. But I'm not gonna lie to you. It probably changes every year so that's why you have to pay attention to the one they send to you online or the one they send to you through mail so it changes every year that year i did my might not be the same thing you have to study for this year so let me make that straight so then they have to make sure you know how to write there was like write something and you know, maybe write like my name is something something or some, I, something about canada she made me write something she made me wrote something about canada i cannot remember what it was but yeah and then they, they made you speak like something in sentence just to make sure you can read and speak and this is not to make you nervous or anything 
um if you are not good with english or anything if you if you cannot read and write i think they have interpreters if you have your interpreter they, are, they allow that so i don't know how it works because i haven't experienced that i'm talking about my own experience so for you that don't know how to read and write they're more likely to you're more likely to let them know and they will process that with you so this is how my interview went so when she said congrats, she didn't even say congratulations to me, to be honest. The lady was straight. Her face was up. And this is honest opinion right there. But I know she's doing her job. I understand that. But she really made me uncomfortable and she made me nervous. And she did not even say, I was the one who has to the night pass. And she was like, yeah. And she just went in and printed the paper. I mean, the paper of congratulations or anything. I forgot what it was. Maybe it was like, <laughs> I forgot what the paper was, but the paper of congratulations that I passed. Yeah, because if you do not pass, I think you have two tries. You have to go back and go study all those papers and come back. And they're going to reschedule you for later, later again. So, but I was lucky. She just gave me a paper of confirmation that I passed and I can be a U.S. citizen. But she was like, then they now mail me my ceremony dates. To be honest, I forgot what my ceremony date was. <laughs> I think it was February. My ceremony date was February. To be honest, too. So it wasn't farther from each other. My ceremony day was February. So he, she, then I went to the hall and they told us all the rules and regulations, the freedom we have for being a citizen, things we can do, how we can bring family and friends, how we can be a good citizen, support one another, obey the rules, obey the regulations, walk in love, walk in everything, that kind of style, just to make America great. So all that kind of style, it was celebration. And they make us sweat to America. <laughs> and we did it. And that was it. It calls for celebration. I was so grateful to God because without God, it's impossible. So that's for your girl. So, and my support system too. So this was how the story went. And if you are applying or your date is here already, I wish you good luck and I hope this video has helped you prepare for this and I believe you can do it and you will do it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Okay, Dami is checking out right now and I'll see you guys later. Peace! Man, I don't find my tongue in tomato, tomato. This kind of way, man, they want to. Yeah, no shit. If it's strong, just.